One of the most common questions we get asked with Car Dealer Pro is, how do I scan my cards, right? And it's really important that you get great quality scans before you import anything to Car Dealer Pro. So I'm gonna walk through how you go about scanning with a Fujitsu scanner and some of our recommended best practices. Now, if you're using the Fujitsu scanner with a Windows computer, right now we recommend using Fujitsu's paper stream capture software, which we think is one of the best scanning softwares out there. Paper stream capture will allow you to configure your scans exactly how you want them. And I'm gonna walk you through a couple of the quick settings that you wanna look at when you go into paper stream capture. Now, when you first download paper stream capture, this is the mode that you're put into. It's their sort of basic scan mode. I don't ever recommend scanning in this mode because you don't get all that much flexibility or customization. So you wanna first switch to the advanced mode where you have a lot more options and settings. If the software hasn't already, make sure that it connects to your scanner up here at the top. And then you're gonna to wanna to go into scan settings. Under here, you have, um, you have a bunch of additional options. Some things that we recommend, always save your files in JPEG format. And then uh, make sure if you haven't uh, checked them, go into scanner settings. That's where you're gonna be able to get some of the great customization that the software offers. Now, when I go into scanner settings, um, there are a number of different things that you can look for. Um, I'm gonna go up here and, you know, you first of all, you wanna make sure that you're scanning in color. Um, you can set your resolution. You know, I think it's usually a good idea to go at least 300 DPI. Um, you can also under, uh, you know, the image quality, you can, you can adjust the color um, and some of the other settings there. I recommend testing that. If you get some bad quality scans with your cards, you might want to look at that. Cropping is another one that I always recommend um, using their automatic cropping, but I also recommend adding a margin here. So you can set the margin to be two or three millimeters. That'll add a nice little black border around your cards. If, you just, if, you, if you're scanning your cards in sideways, you can add in a rotation so that it always makes sure that they're oriented correctly. Um, so if you're not putting them in uh, the default way, which is to put them in basically, you're gonna put them in backwards and down, um, you can add that rotation so it, it generates the images the right way. Um, and then last, I think you wanna turn, typically you wanna turn manual feed off or, or to the hardware setting. Um, and also turn off multi-feed detection. Those are some really important settings that will make sure that you get everything and make sure to always click save when you're done setting these settings. Once you've done all that, uh, I'm just gonna switch over to the scanner here. So once you've done all that, you're gonna take your cards. Uh, if you're scanning them uh, raw and loose, you're just gonna put them in face down and go ahead and hit scan on the scanner. And you're gonna see they're gonna just fly through here really quick. This is the Fujitsu scanner, the 8170, scans about as fast as any car uh, scanner on the market, and it'll scan the fronts and the backs. If you watch my other video um, where I talk about, you know, scanning other types of cards, like pen cards and penny sleeves and top loaders and card savers, you can also insert those as well. Um, I always recommend doing them in batches, but just for fun, I'm just going to go ahead and scan them uh, as a kind of a mixed batch here, but you'll see it'll feed through those as well. Um, and it's, it's really great. If you ever get a jam, like I just did, you can just hit retry and it'll usually, you know, feed right through. And, uh, all of my scans came in really great here on the, uh, on the software here. Um, so if you take a look, you know, you can see, I just scanned bunch of cards and it's 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 given all of them that nice border like I was talking about um, I think the ones that, that I do law raw and loose probably come through looking the best um, but if you don't want to take your cards out of the the top loaders or penny sleeves you can scan those as well and they'll come through looking pretty great too